The Grade Center and Blackboard Learn is more than just a way to record students' grades. It is a dynamic and interactive tool, allowing you to record data, calculate grades, and monitor student progress. You can generate reports to communicate information to administrators and other stakeholders. You can determine which assigned grades to show to your students in My Grades, including columns displaying performance results. In the Grade Center, you can provide and manage your students' grades for assignments, tests, discussion posts, journals, blogs, and wikis, and for ungraded items, such as surveys or self-tests. You can also create grade columns for any activities or requirements you want to grade, such as special projects, participation, or attendance. You can access the Grade Center from the Control Panel. Expand the Grade Center section to display the links to the Needs Grading page, the Full Grade Center, and the Smart Views. Click Full Grade Center. There's a lot going on in the Full Grade Center, so let's quickly go over what everything is. The Grade Center resembles a spreadsheet. Each row is populated by a user in your course, and each column includes information for an item, such as an assignment, test, graded blog entry, or survey. There are also columns that calculate total and weighted grades. Action Bar contains functions and drop-down lists specific to the Grade Center. Create Column or Create Calculated Column like Total Points, the Manage menu, which we'll come back to later, Reports, a Filter option, and the Work Offline menu where you can download all the Grade Center data to edit in a program like Excel. Below the action bar, you have an email function and different ways to sort columns and order the information. Grade information bar includes information about a selected column, such as type of grade and points possible. Point to a grade center column title and details appear at the top. In this same row, you can view when data was last saved as well. Then we have the main grid, or spreadsheet, which includes columns, rows, and cells that make up the current view of the Grade Center data. Use the horizontal and vertical scroll bars to navigate through the Grade Center columns and rows. When you navigate to another course area and return to the Grade Center, you will see the same rows and columns on the page from the last visit. The view remains in effect until you use the scroll bars again or log out. Click the icon legend for an explanation of the symbols used in the cells. The two most common symbols you will see are the needs grading yellow exclamation point and the attempt in progress. Lastly, the edit rows displayed button allows you to change the number of rows appearing in the grid. Now that we've covered what everything is, let me show you some different ways to manage and view the grade center information. Understanding how to organize this information will save you valuable time while grading especially if you have a large roster. Let's start by looking at the Filter feature. To narrow your view of the Grade Center data, click Filter to expand the field and select an option from the drop-down lists. Current View includes the full Grade Center view, Smart Views, and Grading Periods. You can select one of the views to use as the default view by clicking the Set Current View as default icon next to the Current View drop-down list. You can select other views from the Current View drop-down list at any time. Category includes all different categories and any you have created. And Status, including Needs Grading or In Progress. In some instances, you can make another selection in an additional drop-down list to further narrow the columns and users that appeared in the grid. In the Grade Center, all cells and column headers have a contextual menu. Some important options in a column's contextual menu include Quick Column Information. This displays information about the column in a pop-up window. Grade Attempts. Provide a grade for an attempt made for this item. Assignment File Download. Allows you to select and download files students have attached to their assignments. Hide from Students. On or Off. This hides this column from users. If you hide the column, the column remains in the Grade Center grid, but your students will not see it in My Grades. Hide from Instructor View. This hides the column from view in the Grade Center. To show the column, point to Manage on the action bar to access the drop-down list and select Column Organization. 
To see the contextual menu for a cell in the Grade Center grid, move your mouse pointer over the cell. Click the arrow icon to access the contextual menu. When you access the contextual menu for a user's name cell, you have the options to hide a user's row, hide other rows to focus your attention on one row, or email a user. You can view which items are visible to a user based on availability and adaptive release rules, or which items a user marked reviewed. You can also view the user statistics page, which provides statistical information related to a user's performance. Let's go back to the Manage menu in the Action Bar, so we can cover some of the more common features there. Clicking the Grading Color Codes lets you establish user-defined rules to apply color to the cells in the Grade Center grid, either by grade or status. Color coding the Grade Center provides visual indicators to help you interpret information quickly. Categories and Smart Views lets you view and manage the different categories, like tests, assignments, etc., and Smart Views, which are custom-made views of the Grade Center data created by you and saved for continued use. Column Organization displays a table view of the Grade Center, which functions to change the order and visibility of columns. From this page, you can also assign columns to grading periods and categories. Changes you make on this page are for your view of the Grade Center only and do not change which columns appear to students in my grades. So, now that you know how to navigate and manage the information in the Grade Center, let's look at how the grades are entered. Some grades are entered automatically. For example, tests are scored automatically and recorded in the corresponding Grade Center column. Some test questions require manual grading, such as essay questions. You can manually edit grades that are scored automatically by clicking on the cell and entering a grade. This is called manually overriding a grade. Other grades must be entered manually. You can manually enter grades in the following areas. Directly in cells on the main Grade Center page, by clicking View Grade Details from the contextual menu of a cell, and from the Grade Assignment or Grade Test page. For more information on grading assignments and tests, view the videos later in this series. For some items, such as gradable blogs or discussion forums, you can enter grades from the tool without having to navigate to the Grade Center. After you assign grades outside of the Grade Center, you can always change them by clicking on an individual cell. The Grade Center can be overwhelming when you first encounter it. However, it is probably the tool you will use most in Blackboard so it's important to take the time to familiarize yourself with all of its major functions. Take time to practice with it, and be sure to reach out to your school's designated AT if you have any questions or concerns.